Good morning, State of Your Second Graders. This is our second video for phonics language. We will be going over two worksheets in one video because I don't think we need a whole lesson on page 271. So we're gonna be doing page 271 and 273 in this video. No, you don't have to do both pages at the same time. I'm just combining the videos for the teaching. Okay, so for 271, we are going to go over, or we're reviewing abbreviations, and um, for months, and also for um, measurements. We will be skipping, I don't have it X'd out yet, but we'll be skipping section three, and we will be skipping dictation. You will be doing section one and two, on the front, all of the back for page 271. All right, we will review, but first, let me put up, I know some of you forgot or forget or forgetful about your abbreviations for the months. Every month has an abbreviation except May, June, and July. Everything else has abbreviation. These are the abbreviation for the days of the week. I don't think you need them for this paper. No, you don't. But this is the month. This is what you're going to use on section two. So make sure you spell them correctly. Capitalize, put your periods. I will be checking this and it's very important that you do your best. All right, now we're going to move on to page 273. Notice the dictation is X'd out, but that's it. You'll have to do the rest. Now, remember, we're going to go over using ER and EST. Oh, I about forgot. Let's do the review on A and AN. Remember, A is beside of a consonant. A, toad, AN is beside of a vowel sound. Consonant sound and vowel sound. Okay, A, let me do this, consonant sound, sound, and is vowel sound. A, car, because car is a consonant, and elephant, what would go with ice cube, and. What would go with tree? A. So that's a review on A and AN. And both of these will be sound. I just didn't have enough room to write sound, but it's sound. If they have the beginning consonant sound at the beginning of the word, you use A. If they do not, if they have the vowel sound, you use AN. I hope that's not confusing. All right, now we're gonna talk about ER and EST. We are often, we are talking or writing and we use adjectives, which we've talked about. Adjectives are descriptions of nouns, makes the noun, you be able to see the noun in your mind better. It describes it. So we, we uh, use adjectives to compare things. Um, we can compare This eraser and this eraser. We, uh, which is smaller? Obviously, this one is smaller. Which is bigger? This one is bigger. Smaller, bigger. When we compare two nouns, we add the suffix er. When we have three or more things we're comparing, we have to throw in EST for it. Now, let's see. We will have, uh, let's see, this, this, and this. These are all magnets. I hope you can see. This one is the smallest this one is the biggest. So we're comparing three magnets. Which one? We don't say, if we're comparing three, we always use EST. Biggest, 
smallest. And I know the magnets aren't that great of an example, but this is the bigger, this is the medium, and this is the smaller. So this is the biggest, this is the smallest. All right, let's look. We have to remember our spelling rules when we are spelling these words. Dark, we're going to make darker. So we would, would we leave it or would we double the K? We would leave the K and not double it because it is not a short vowel sound, it is a special sound. Same thing with darkest we would just add EST. Now when we get to wet, it is a short vowel, so we have to double that T. W-E-T-T-E-R. Wettest, same thing. It is a short vowel, so we double it, and we make it wettest. Happy, now remember when it's ending in a Y, and the suffix ends in a or begins with a vowel you will change that y to an i every time happier h-a-p-p-i-e-r and happiest h-a-p-p-i-e-s-t happier happiest now on your page it reviews everything i went over in this video Read it before you start. I will read it with you. Remember these suffix spelling words. When a root word ends with one consonant and the vowel is short, double the consonant before adding a suffix beginning with a vowel. Big plus ER is bigger. When the root word ends with a silent E, drop the E before adding suffix that begins with a vowel. Large, drop the E, ER, L-A-R-G-E-R. -E Add ER to an adjective when comparing two things. Add EST to an adge adjective when comparing three or more. John is taller than James. John is the tallest boy in his class. You're going to read these sentences. Write the at correct adjective in the blank. You will be using ER and EST with the words that are in the um, parentheses. Then down here, you're going to be adding suffixes ER and EST to these words. Remember, if it ends with a Y, change it to an I. If it does not, if it has a special sound or does not have a short vowel, you leave it. You don't add anything. If it has a short vowel, you double. So you'll be doing the front except for dictation. On the back, you will be using your contractions. You write the two words under the contraction. We're would be we are. Using may or can on the lines. Remember, may is asking permission. Can is your ability to do it. Mom, blank, I call grandma this afternoon. You, you can call her, but you are asking your mom permission. So you put mom, may I call grandma this afternoon. Write a predicate part for each sentence. You're just finishing the sentence, my silly puppy, what did your silly puppy do? Finish the sentence with an interesting predicate. Write a subject part for each sentence. You have the ending of the sentence and now you have to put the beginning of your sentence. So put the subject. Remember to capitalize. This is a sentence and all sentences start with capital letters. And then you're going to just read the sentence, mark, the subject and the verb and diagram it. That's all for this lesson. I'll see you on my next video. You all take care, do your work. Remember, you have to do everything because I will be checking it. You have to turn it in um, by a certain date. So just do your work for that day and you won't have any problems. See you on the next video. Bye.